Hey guys, what's up? So we just had a big official server update and it's patch 1.7.32. Remember, this is an official server which means it's now live. It's the combination of all the advanced server updates from the past 3 to 4 weeks. First on our list is the improved range for Luoyi's ultimate. The range of her level 1 is now like the old max level. And this is her range using her level 3 ultimate. Next is the nerf on Goshen. His enhanced basic attack now has weaker damage. And they also slightly lowered the damage of his second skill. The developer said he was dealing tremendous damage even without recalling his daggers, so they had to tone him down accordingly. Next is the adjustment on Eve. The shortened ultimate range is now here. No to balance, they improved the other features of her ultimate. CC immunities back when casting the skill, immobilize is now longer, cooldown is now shorter by 15 seconds, and tap damage is increased. And they also added more damage to her first skill. Is it enough to make up for the shorter ultimate? Next is the buff on Lastly. Her passive will now always deal true damage even if it's not a critical strike. The damage is also adjusted making it stronger in the early stages of the game. Next is the buff on Granger. They added more damage to his first skill against the jungle creeps. Jungle Granger is back boys. Next is the nerf on Atlas. They lowered the defense stats from his passive skill. That's minus 20 points at max level. Next is the adjustment on Nadette. The dash on her ultimate is now on the last part like this. You can now use it to avoid getting cancelled. Next is the nerf on Faramis. His ultimate will lose its effect on allies if they move away from Faramis. In exchange, they improved his other skills. Skill 1 now has a shorter cooldown while skill 2 has better damage. Will he be removed from the ban section now? Next is the buff on Harley. They lower the cooldown of his second skill. And he will lose the movement boost if he returns to his hat. Next is the nerf on Melissa. They increase the cooldown of her first and second skill in the early and mid stages of the game. Cooldown remains the same at late game. Next is the buff on x -Borg. They increase his base HP and armor which will improve his early game survivability. Next is the buff on Yin. He now gets more defense stats while inside his domain. That's an additional 20 to 30 points of defense. Next is the buff on Gatot Kacha. The dash distance of his second skill is now increased. And they also shorten the charging time to reach maximum dash distance. Next is the buff on Alice. Jungle Creeps will now drop Blood Orbs. And her ultimate now has fewer mana requirements in the early stages of the game. Next is the buff on Alus. The developers wanted to improve his tanking capability so they'll improve his base damage which will allow him to use more defense items. His enhanced basic attacks now have base damage which makes him better in the early game. His stacks will now increase automatically after dealing damage to an enemy. Skill 1 damage is removed making it a buff skill that gives movement speed and damage reduction. Skill 2 now has longer cooldown but with a faster attack speed and stronger heal. Next is the buff on Vexana. The developers think she's too weak without her eternal guard so they'll adjust the skill. Her ultimate now has a shorter cooldown in the mid and late stages of the game. Next is the buff on Carmilla. Her ultimate will now affect a large area like this. Enemies inside will be linked to share damage and crowd control effects. The link damage ratio is lowered while the CC duration is at full effect on all linked enemies. She's going to be a good pair with AoE heroes like Atlas and Veil. Next is the buff on Lapu-Lapu. The cooldown of his second skill is now shorter in the early game. 
and his defense buff is improved by 20 points on all levels. Next is the buff on Frederick. His crystal energy is now easier to control because of the new feature where it resets its decay timer each time you gain combo points. This means you can hold on to your crystal energy if you keep adding combo points. The damage from his ultimate is slightly lowered but in exchange, the heal ratio from his ultimate damage is doubled. This means he will get more HP when his ultimate hits an enemy. Next is the buff on Kali. His first skill now has a pull effect like this. Damage is lowered but the skill animation is faster. His enhanced basic attack now has a faster animation, longer blink distance, and he ends up much closer to his target. Slow effect is added and its damage is improved in the early game. Next is Zask. Shorter cooldown of his first skill, but no more cooldown refund if the spawn is killed. His third skill now has faster casting time, and its nightmare clones now are arranged like this. Damage is nerfed because the developer said his third skill is more of a crowd control skill. Next is the buff on Edit. Her passive skill now deals more damage to minions. They also improve the magic power and defense ratio of her ultimate. In short, more damage for Edit when building defense items. Next is Minotaur. His rage will no longer decay over time. His ultimate will now slow on the first two stomps and then knock up on the last one. This skill now has crowd control immunity which means you can cancel it unless you're using suppression. They also added a knock up effect on his first skill. To balance, charging will now result in fewer rage. And his second skill heal will no longer grant rage points. Next is Kaja. All his skills will now have a new Paralyze effect. What it does is lower the enemy's damage. That's 8% for each stack and it can stack 4 times. Enemies are slowed for a short time. The developer said it's supposed to strengthen the support he can offer to his team. His first skill now has a heal effect for every enemy that is hit. And it even works on minions. The damage of his second and ultimate skill is lowered to balance things out. Next is Belleric. Lower mana cost for his second skill. Wait, Belleric has mana? Next is Florin. They adjusted the equipment she can give to her teammate. It now grants 5% adaptive attack stats to the owner. And once it's upgraded, it adds 10% physical and magic lifesteal. But that's not all. The ally using her equipment will now receive shield when healed by Florian. And once upgraded, the shield will increase while giving movement speed. Next is the buff on Baksha. His second skill now has a shorter cooldown in the late game. And they further improved the life drain effect of his passive. From 30 to now 50%, he's now a better counter pick against shield and heal based heroes. Next is the new quick chat feature. Your actual ping will now be shown when using the unstable network chat. No more fake excuses this time. Next is the item Queen's Wings. They removed the plus 15 physical attack and replaced it with 5% spell vamp. And they added 100 more points for HP. It's now good for fighters. Next are the mythic points adjustments. Winning will now give more points when in mythic ramp. It's gonna get crowded up there. Next are the MVP rewards. They optimized the algorithm for the calculation of medal points. Tanks and supports will now have a fairer chance of getting MVPs. Finally, right? Last is the new background music, Joy's Joy. It's now available and you can set it in the theme song settings. So still no patch notes for the revamped Hanabi, but we saw her for a brief moment after the update. For this patch, it felt like we had three revamped heroes, namely Kaja, Minotaur, and Carmilla. You might want to try them out to see if they are good or not. So what can you say about the update? Are your main heroes affected? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. That's all for this video. Stay safe and thank you for watching.